A controversial story concerning the wearing of poppies to tell you about this morning. The grocery store, Whole Foods, has banned staff from wearing poppies at work. Employees were told not to wear the Remembrance Day symbol because it doesn't align with the company's dress code. Some politicians are calling it shameful and wrong. Meantime, Whole Foods says it does honor the men and women who bravely serve their country and support Remembrance Day. However, they say their dress code prohibits any additions to the standard uniform. Joining me now with more on this is Lawrence McCauley, Minister of Veterans Affairs and Associate Minister of National Defense. Good morning. Thank you for taking the time to be with us about this morning. this morning, uh, Minister. What's your reaction to this? Well, of course, it was uh, obviously very disappointing to hear that this morning. It's absolutely unacceptable to say that anybody cannot wear a poppy. It's just totally unacceptable. Did you receive word about this happening from this company before it went public? No, I did not. Uh, but when I did, we we're making an attempt to contact the company, and I would be doing that, and to make sure that uh, uh, they understand that this is supporting the cause. Uh, it's to show respect for, for people who uh, stood in, in danger for our freedom and democracy around the world. and. Quite simply, it's totally unacceptable, and and uh, hopefully they can change this quickly. In Ontario, Premier Ford has just tweeted that legislation will be introduced to prohibit banning staff from wearing a poppy. What's your reaction to that? Well, of course, anything I can do or say to help veterans, that is my responsibility with the government of Canada, and I will do anything I can to make sure that veterans are fully respected because, as I said previously, they stood in harm's way to make sure we can do exactly what we're doing here today. And I will make sure that the company fully understands that this is totally unacceptable and, um, and hopefully convince them to change this practice. What's your message to people who are watching this as we look towards Remembrance Day next week, Minister? Well, of course, Veterans Day is so important, and, uh, and with the pandemic, it's been difficult. Please support the Poppy Campaign. The Legion and other veterans organizations need the support, but the Poppy Campaign is a big campaign for the Legion. It's vitally important for their organization. My, uh, my word to the people would be, we won't have crowds at the Cenotaphs this year, but please support the, uh, the Poppy Program and make sure we support the organizations that are working so hard for our veterans' organizations around this country. They well, that, deserve it, our veterans. That's a good point that you raise, Minister. It's not just the wearing of it, it's the purchasing of the poppy that goes towards um, many different levels of, of keeping these places open and keeping our, our history really alive. I don't think I'm... I'm overstating it by saying that. So before you go, can you just speak a little bit more to that and why buying a poppy and supporting this movement is so important to this country? Well, what you said is so absolutely right. And the legions across the country display, and I'm sure you've been in them and most Canadians have, they display pictures of what took place. It's sometimes difficult in this country to understand exactly what our, what our military uh, men and women went through. And it's so vitally important that the uh, Legion and other veterans' organizations are, are able to stay afloat. And that's why we, we're going to work very hard to make sure, number one, that this uh, policy is reversed and to make and try to persuade people to be a little more generous with the uh, Legion and other veterans' organizations in, in the next uh, few weeks. Because this is Veterans Week coming up, uh, starting today, so it's... Uh, so important, but to understand our history, to understand what people went through so you and I can live free and say what we wish, as long as we don't hurt other people. That is what's so vitally important, and that's my responsibility to government, to make sure that we support these organizations, and I can assure you I will. Right, and of course, uh, we fought to have that choice, to have that option. Minister, thank you very much. This is a story that we're going to continue to follow uh, throughout this day. We appreciate your time. Minister of Veterans Affairs, Lawrence McCauley, we'll see you again soon.